Greg. Uh, I am here with the preview for Minnesota United at Philadelphia Union at Subaru Park. Uh, 12 p.m. kickoff uh, tomorrow. First game of the season. MLS is back. I cannot be more stoked about this. It's fantastic. Um, you know, just to have, you know, uh, have it back and, and going to game, going to games and, um, you know, just, just fantastic. Um, of course, um, you know, first game of the season. So, you know, we haven't, I thought, uh, preseason, I thought something that, you know, we really lacked was kind of, um, uh, uh, scoring goal uh, or lack of, of goals um, in, in a sense um, but you know hopefully uh, you know definitely it's something in the amount of like ch you know chances that that we uh, that you know we created last season that you know we, we didn't put away so ho you know hopefully this season with some of our um, the additions we you know we brought in um, we're definitely able to more uh, take our chances. Um, so we did play Philadelphia last season. Was the um, crazy 3-2 uh, game at Allianz Field. Um, of course, we also know um, the how good Philly is. Uh, they have, you know, they have really good youngsters coming. Uh, you know, a, a good group of, of, of core young players as, as well as a uh, um, uh, veterans so kind of a mix um you know they have uh you know andre blake jacob uh, glesnes alejandro bedoyo daniel uh gazdog uh paxton aronson uh jack mcglynn um just a bunch and you know credit to you know philly for you know really as far as you know youth uh youth development hopefully you know it's it's something you know uh, definitely min you know minnesota is you know uh in, you know in the future as far as you know developing um that so as far as um you know coming back uh coming back uh you know we, we lost players like ethan finley uh, um ozzy alonzo jan gregus um but um you know, like our uh the additions that we brought in like um uh don Lottie, i kind of you know i think when he kind of you know first Okay, his first season he was really good and then he was just really hampered by by injuries uh we brought in bongi the young south africa south african i haven't really seen, seen him play a lot but from what i've heard he looks like a very very exciting very talented player um uh Ker um Kervin, um ariaga uh, honduran uh mick kind of tall kind of you know something that you know we've been you know we've been lacking you know uh, as far as you know maybe somebody who's you know a little bit in the air since you know we had a uh, uh, Ike Parra then of course we brought uh, Luis Amaria uh, back um, on a permanent deal uh, uh, for on a uh, D DP um, so uh, I'm very I think uh, I'm very to see how um, you know Reynoso and Amaria play and how Amaria and, and Unu play um uh plus uh and then one of the thing uh I think I uh touched on was the you know uh trouble kind of scoring goals in in preseason um which kind of worries me but you know hopefully you know bringing in someone like um Amaria who looked like you know when he was here you know on, on loan he looked he looked really really good um one thing that kind of, um, you know, made me uh, worried was, um, you know, playing seemed like Abu Don Ladi played a little bit more, uh, was had more minutes than, um, than Unu, which is, you know, it, you know, it is what it is, but, um, you know, like I said, I'm, um, it's always, you know, exciting to see, okay, you know, how do we, take you know all our all our attacking you know talent that we have and um you know unu um uh amaria um reynoso fragapane um Lu, you know lewd how do we you know how do we play them in a in a, in a formation um because you know i think um i think we i think in preseason i believe we we scored a lot of goals playing the the four, uh, the classic four four two, uh, kind of we st we would start out with a um, 
with a uh, four two three one with uh, Don Lottie up top. Um, uh, it really is. Uh, you know, it'll be, um, like I said, it'll be interesting to see how, um, how, you know, uh, he uses the, um, the formation that he uses for, to get the best out of, uh, our, our attacking pieces. Cause, um, you know, Reynoso is just, you know, for, you know, quality and, um, you know, chances and, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, Amarillo is, you know, a guy that, you know, can get those chances and, and, and really put those, put those chances away. So, um, um, as far as injury, um, injury, um, uh, the only player, uh, only player that we know for certain that is, um, uh, not in contention for tomorrow is Ja'Cory Hayes. Um, there's a possibility uh, Chase Gasper, I think he was subbed off in the first half of our last pre uh, our last preseason game. Uh, I think it was due to a, a, a head injury, so hopefully you know he's okay. And then of uh, uh, Metinair is kind of I think he, you know, he came off against uh, a port uh, back in uh, when he played Portland back in the playoffs. I think he would kind of had like a hamstring in, uh, injury and. Um, so that that's definitely something interesting um uh and the so with that i will get into my starting 11. this was really really tough um you know do i you know put in uh as far as you know uh for 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 uh for fullbacks you know who do i put in um uh, in between the sticks, I know all of us would really, really love to see uh, uh, Dane Dane St. Clair. You know, he, he has this new bumper contract, and uh, there were reports, I think, yesterday going out that um, uh, Minnesota was actually this uh, offseason was actually shopping uh, uh, Dane St. Clair um, for uh, for, you know, those, uh, those uh, Garber Bucks. Um, but um i think you know i think keith has kind of you know come out and said you know um i think tyler miller so um and i i, I definitely could maybe see um day i mean uh revs uh the Re new england revolution definitely in losing matt turner to uh selling him to, to arsenal this summer and them looking and maybe possibly going in for uh dan um you know, it, it, it would be hard, but, you know, we wouldn't, you know, if we made, you know, good, uh, you know, good money on it and um, made definitely made, you know, good Garber, Garber bucks. And so with that um, in goal, uh, I, I just went, I went Tyler Miller. Um, you know, I thought he was really, you know, really fantastic when he stepped up last season. Um, just, just great. Um on the uh, um, right back, um, this one was hard. I went with uh, DJ Taylor, um, assuming Metinair isn't uh, isn't quite match uh, isn't quite match fit yet, um, or uh, isn't really back from his, his injury yet. Um, you know, I think I like uh, I liked what I saw from DJ Taylor. Uh, so you know, sometimes he's a little iffy. Sometimes he's not. Um, a center back partnership. Um, you know, it's something. Um, you know, it's it's interesting. You know, um, I think I'm gonna go with um, uh, Bakai Debasi and uh, Michael Boxall. Um, definitely you know i think you know they're they're good uh they're good working together um you know definitely lead from the uh, uh back back line uh you know they are veterans getting on but i think you know we have some you know really good up and coming you know uh center back uh you know center backs coming up and um and then on the left um i'm going with um onel fisher um who we uh, who we signed um, 
believe he is traditionally a right back, but he can also play uh, left back. Um, and we all know sometimes, you know, um, you know, Dotson has sometimes played, uh, you know, f you know, full on the full back. And, you know, I think, you know, we saw what he did when he was, you know, playing last season, you know, definitely came on his own and started playing him more in, 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 meal, in midfield. So with that, um, with the, uh, with my, um, kind of the double pivot, um, Will Trap. I'm going with Will Trap and Sonny Dotson. Will Trap, uh, the new, uh, the uh, uh, the captain uh, for the Loons this season. Just something, um, you know, I'm, you know, his leadership, his ex you know experience he has is is really really good. And next to him you have uh, Hassani Dot uh, Hassani Dotson. You know, this guy is just you know I think he's getting better and better. You know, every single time you know every single time I see him. He's there, you know. He can, he can, he can, uh, he can score some bangers. Um, you know, it's just, it's just a, f a phenomenal, the pheno uh, you know, phenomenal player, and you know, definitely, you know, one that you know, hopefully we keep on, or, or you know, maybe he has, you know, his aspirations of of moving to Europe, and we can get some g uh, g uh, good money for him. Um, on the right, uh, Robin Lud, I think one of our, I mean really really good uh i think he was one of our if not i think our top scorer last year he really came in uh in clutch moments um just re you know fin um uh, fin phenomenal um you know kind of came in kind of um slow but you know really you know picked it uh picked it up last year um in the number 10 position number 10 emmanuel reno so what what can I not say about this guy? This guy, the amount of chances, his vision, is he, just phen phenomenal. And um, you know, if you have, you know, like I said, somebody with, uh, you know, hopefully, you know, Amaria, you know, uh, can get on the the end of chances that that he creates and just makes it, you know, phenomenal. On the left. Um, Franco Fregapane, uh, you know, I think he definitely came in uh, last season uh, when we brought him in. I think, you know, he started really good. Um, kind of his chemistry sometimes that, um, you know, that he has with um, uh, Reynoso. Sometimes he can also be a little hothead, but the kind of the chemistry sometimes, I mean, I'm not, you know, saying, you know, some of you, you know, saying, oh, you know, the, the feel like the better chemistry, but you know, gives me kind of the, as far as, you know, when Rene also first came in and, and, and the chemistry that he had with, uh, with, uh, Kevin Molino, um, you know, those two were, you know, phenomenal. And then up top at the number nine, this one was tough. Cause it's like, you know, um, you know, Keith has, you know, you know, we have, you know, Unu on big, uh, on big money. We have, um, uh, Luis Amarillo that we brought in and then we also have uh, Don Lottie and it seemed like I said um, when playing in the 4-2-3-1 um, uh, it seemed like uh, Don Lottie was playing up top a lot um, but I am I, I personally think uh, that it should be um, Luis Amarillo starting um, up top and then if uh, if need be you know change the change the the shape a bit to go into a you know maybe bring on um unu because it seems like you know um unu you know is kind of you know the guy kind of you know kind of the shadow striker sort of and um you know really really good and uh, I'm, I'm excited to have uh, amarila back um you know as uh for you know we thought we were gonna be bringing him back um you know, and then he went out, uh, went uh, out on loan and uh, crushed it, and uh, uh, had another great loan. Uh, got called into the Paraguay uh, national team. Um, I'm just, I'm just excited to see. Um, as far as my prediction for this game, um, you know, it's it's really hard. It's like you know, I want to start off, uh, I want to start off, you know, positive uh, with the win. 
Um, and of course, it'll it'll be a it'll be a a very hard game. Um, also away, sometimes you know it's it's hard to you know there's some you know um, place you know uh, uh, places um, in MLS that are that are really uh, hard hard to um, the the atmospheres are just um, you know r are are uh, uh, fantastic. Um, I'm just hoping, you know, um, it's first, you know, first game of the season. These guys give everything they have. Uh, it's just uh, phenomenal. Um, and so I am going for a win. That is going to do it for my match preview for the first game of the season. Uh, make sure you like the video, comment your predictions for the game. Um, Subscribe, uh, share, uh, follow me on Twitter for updates um, on the uh, game and uh, channels, and come on you loons.